It's us in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Rabba Rabbiya Baradesh. Good morning, everyone. God bless you. May the Lord's strength be upon you today. Hallelujah. Even as you join. In the name of Jesus. Wonderful God. God bless you. Hallelujah. It's your time of season. It's a great day in the Lord. Hallelujah. Rabba Bakashe. God God bless you, my sister. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Glory to God. Thank you. Thank you for that sister who reduced the noise um, in the living room. Thank you. Hallelujah. Well, go ahead and begin to cover your house in the blood. Begin to cover your, your mind in the blood. Cover your family in the blood. Cover your children in the blood. Cover your dreams with the blood of Jesus. Cover everything that pertains to you in the blood. Let the blood begin to saturate everywhere your house. Holy Spirit, overshadow me in your blood right now, right now, right now, right now. Begin to pray. Le braco so brada rabaya. Ele matalabandele bebe rebebe gabaradi. Ilim brando rebe rebe gebe rebe gebe abaradia. Rababa rababa gashate batalabandele bebea. Ile grado rebe rebe gebe rebe gebe rebe bia baradi. O rebe bia barande rebe rebe gebe abaradia. Shagada bada rabaga rababa rebe gebe abaradish. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Oh, pray aggressively, everybody. Legre be 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 re be be re be be ge be re be be abaradi. Raba ba raba ba ga shante re be be le be be apaya. Ilo rondo re be be re be be ge be re be be abaradi re be bion. Re be be re be be ge be re be be re be be ge be re be be abaradi. Raba ba raba ba ga raba ba raba ba ga baradi re be bios. Alei ban tele be be le be be abaradi. Alei ban tele be be le be be abaradi. Re ge de re be be re be be ge be re be be re be be ge be re be be abaradi. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus, I cover my house in the blood. I cover my destiny in the blood. I release the blood of Jesus in every area of my life. Let the blood, let the blood, let the blood. The blood of Jesus. We release the blood of Jesus. Ego rababa rebebe rebebe abaradish mangrada rababa rebebe 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 abaradish aleban telebebe lebebe rebebe 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 abaradish thank you lord jesus thank you lord jesus oh rababa 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 gashante rebebe as ilebre de rebebe rebebe gabarando rebebe os zambranda rababa gaba sabarade rebebe abaradish zumblen telebebe rebebe rebebe abaradish rebebe os oh rababa rababa gashante rebebe abaradish Ile brende rebe 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 bia baradia rebe 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 bia barando rebe bios rebe 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 bia baradia rebe bion o raba ba raba ba ga jabrando rebe 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 bia baradia zanta la bande rebe 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 bia baradia rebe 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 bia baradia o jele rebe 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 bia baradia riada a raba ba raba ba ga barando rebe bion Elebe lebe lebe ya brando ro 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 re bia e re be be re be be ya brando re be bia brando re bia zambra da raba ba ga bara da raba ba ya bradesh in the name of Jesus thank you Lord in Jesus name we pray Amen let's sing this song You are the mighty God the great I am Alleluia Alleluia, you are the mighty God, the great I am. Alleluia, Alleluia. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Now it is time to do some serious prayer. Amen. Serious, somebody says serious prayer. We've been praying and believe that some of you are going to be blessed today. Oh my goodness. I mean, the Lord is going to release richly, anoint you, set you on fire, set you on a course in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank God for those who have been in a place of prayer, those who have been exercising complete dominion. Amen. Your life will never be the same. Hallelujah. Are you ready for prayer today? Amen. Say this loud and clear. My heavens. Oh my goodness. Is there anybody on this prayer line? Are you ready for prayer? Okay, give a loud shout. Say shout fire. Somebody shout fire. 
Hallelujah. You are going to scream, amen, hallelujah. And I want you to pray with, with, the, with, the, with the grace and the oil and the anointing that is upon your life. Amen. For every life, there is a heavens that governs us. And every time the enemy wants to bring you to a place of spiritual blindness, spiritual deafness, he first invade your heavens. Glory to God. He first begins to invade your heavens. Amen. In the operations of your heavens, hallelujah, when you cannot hear the voice of God, it seems like your dreams, you can't remember your dreams. It seems like uh, there's confusion in your dreams. It seems like the enemy comes in a masquerade form. The enemy begins to disguise himself. When he should reveal his true identity, amen, he begins to appear in the identity of another. Hallelujah. It's because there is something, another thing is taking a form in your life. And another thing is taking a form in your, in your dream. There is a disguising spirit. There is a spirit of deception. There are forces within the heavens that begin to hide even your very glory. Hallelujah. Begin to hide even your fair personality. Hallelujah. God bless everyone today for darling. Hallelujah. My brother Louis, God bless you too for darling. Hallelujah. Your life will never be the same. I pray for you. Evil to Shanti, God bless you. Shereen, God bless you. DT, God bless you. Gaydig, God bless you. Hallelujah. Those who are also in the prayer line life, hallelujah. God bless you so, so much. Today, your life will never be the same. Shout this prayer loud and clear. Hallelujah. Say, every darkness hiding in my heavens. Every darkness position in my heavens. As I begin to pray, scatter by fire. Opiamata begins a fire prayer. Ragazabara daria parandia. Ile granda rababaga barandia. Irregaderebebebe berebebia. Rabababa rababaga barandia. I gragazabarada. Ile gregaderia. Erebeberebebega baradia. Magrazabara gadora babaya baradia. Ile grebeberebebega baradia. Inambranda. Ilabranda. Labranda. Erregaderebebega baradia. Go laba laba rababa babaya brade. In the name of Jesus, Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Every teeth of the wicked. Can somebody shout it with, with a militant voice? Say every teeth of the wicked. Over my blessings. I like that male voice. I like that baritone voice. Say every teeth of the wicked. Over my blessings. Break by fire. Ah, some people don't. Some people don't like warfare. Are you serious? This is morning. Hallelujah. See, every listen to me. Five a.m. is a very powerful time. Hallelujah. Powerful time to turn around your blessings for good. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Job chapter ten. I want you to open your scripture to Job chapter thirty-eight. Job chapter thirty-eight. Malibranda Santa Labantele Behotos. Lei makabanta la mahala badosh. Ili braga zombranda raba babaya. My God. I feel fire today. Iga da 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 baha. Haligon mantali bibi abaradesh. Somebody open to me, open for me there, please. The book of Job, chapter thirty-eight. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Mante kabato labandole bibio brodosh. Le kabanta labalabayash. Somebody say command. Hallelujah. Somebody say command. I'm so sorry if 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 if, if I'm literally if I'm so um I'm so sorry if literally I am so um Hyper in the spirit. Amen. If I'm very hyper in the spirit, so sorry about that. Hallelujah. I know some of you have been resting and sleeping. You say, look at this guy. It's like he's in a, a multivitamins energy. <laughs> today's date is what? Everyone, today's date is what? 12th, right? Okay. All right. 
for about the 12. Well, every time you see the word 12, it's an apostolic number. Amen. It's, an, it's a number for administration. It's a number for go, to be uh, a, a, a governorship. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's a leadership number. Hallelujah. And everything about me is 12. Everything about me is 12. I mean, hallelujah. My shoe size is 12. Uh, my bed is uh, September 12. Everything about me is 12. Hallelujah. I love that number 12. Verse 12 in the book of Job 38 verse 12. He says to Job, now, before this scripture came, Job has been through all kinds of crises. Job has been through all kinds of abandonment. Job has been through all kinds of attack. Are you hearing me today? There's been all kinds of attack in the life of Job. Hallelujah. With his, with his, with his, his children being attacked by fire. This guy was so prosperous. He was so blessed. Hallelujah. Something began to happen, not because Job disobeyed God. Hallelujah. Because the Bible says he repented for his family every time, every time. The Bible says the counsel of the Lord was upon him. And one day, one day, when something happened, amen, there was a level of oppression. There was a level of attack that happened to... Hallelujah. There was a level of warfare. There was a level, there was, there was a level of warfare that this guy was going through. Um, uh, Job himself. Hallelujah. And suddenly, people began to question his integrity because of what he was going through. People did not understand and fathom or understood uh, the level of warfare he was going through. People began to say, what is really going on with this guy? Why is his life like this? Why was what, so, well, this guy was so blessed, plugged down from zero one, down to zero. And everybody, you know, you have a lot of theolo theologians talk kind of foolishly. Some of them say he's very arrogant. Somebody said he's this. Somebody says he's prideful. Somebody said he's that. All kinds of stuff. Listen to me. Every time God wants to elevate you, huh? when God wants to double an anointing, he brings you lower not because you are prideful or whatever or whatever the other when you have for each level that the, for each time god blesses you or elevates you it's because of your level of humility remember that for each level of humility that you develop with god huh each level of humility that you have with god god elevates you and so when god for instance jesus he was exalted but god did not exalt him amen till he paid the ultimate price. So for each level of obedience that you have with God, God will exalt you. For each price you pay, God will exalt you. Hallelujah. There is a level of an anointing and grace that comes upon your life when you begin to obey God. Hallelujah. In the book of uh, De uh, Deuteronomy 28, it talks about uh, that he will lift you up. He will exalt you above if, you're, if you begin to obey God. So for every little thing he obeys. Now, the hardest obedience is when he, he, he ultimately lifts you up like never before. Remember this. It w God began to exalt Abraham for every little obedience he, he did towards God. Amen. But on, not until the time. Amen. He tried. To, the, the, the Lord said, okay, sacrifice your son Isaac. And after he did that, that was the most of the ultimate. But there was another also too that he had to let Lot go too. And there was also a blessing too attached to that. He said, lift up your head and this now. Your, 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 as long as you see the stars, these will be the numbers of your children, of your generation. Hallelujah. Amen. But by the sacrificing of Isaac, the Lord began to exalt this man. Hallelujah. He began to exalt him. He began, there was a level of anointing. There was a level of blessing that was upon his life. Amen. So don't tell me, something, somebody come up telling me, say, yeah, you, you, when you go through, you are once blessed and now you are going through stuff because of your pride. That's a, that's a bunch of garbage, a bunch of baloney. That is a legalistic message. Amen. Take it to, to the people who are in sinners. Amen. When God wants to develop you, hallelujah, the Bible says that Jesus, the more you die to self, let me just put it that way, the more you die to self, the more God is exalted you. Hallelujah. So in other words, hallelujah, in other words, Jesus was being exalted already in the power of the Spirit. Was he arrogant? No. But the ultimate prize was when he was to die in Gethsemane. Hallelujah. And after he died, Jesus, God now said, I'm giving you a name that is above every other name, that at the mention of the name of Jesus, Every nail shabbat. In totality, the more your obedience towards God, the more God rewards you for your work. Hallelujah. The more God rewards you. The Bible says, if you are found faithful in the very little, you will be found faithful in more. Hallelujah. If you are found faithful in little, you are found faithful in more. Amen. So God will exalt, God will reward you based on your faithfulness. Well, in the life of Job, you begin to see this 
take place in the life of Job. Job was a man who was kind of like, um, he loved the Lord so much, God found him to be one of the earliest men in the Bible who against all odds, amen, he will obey God. And so God was trying to prove to the devil himself because the devil has been going around looking for whom to devour. Amen. Hallelujah. And for every great man has to be tested. Every gold has to go through fire. Amen. Every silver has to be purified. Hallelujah. So anyways, if fire has to purify Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Fire had to purify Daniel. Fire had to purify Jesus. Fire had to be tested. Devil was tested Jesus. The Bible says he was stripped of everything. He went to the wilderness. The word wilderness is a desert experience. It's a debating experience. It's a place of naughtiness. It's a place of loneliness. It's a place where you are alone. Hallelujah. You feel there's a pressure on the inside of you. You feel, what is this? Hallelujah. When God was about to exalt him, this guy had a rope, a rope of a, a garment. Amen. He was nailed on the cross. This guy had so much followers. He was well respected. All of a sudden, they came to arrest him. For instance, I give an example. Let's, let's Let's take, for instance, somebody like, um, let's say somebody like Billy Graham, all right, or somebody like uh, Obama himself. They came to arrest him all of a sudden. They arrested Obama, they led him, and they put a cross upon him. They began to strip him, and they took him on the cross, right? As they took him on the cross, they stripped him naked. This guy is just with underwear on the cross. Everybody's watching life all over the world. What is that? That is pure humiliation. The first thing you're going to ask God, look at this guy. He was once a president. Now they are dethroning him. Now they are, so he's, he, they are, he's being humiliated. Why? Because of his pride and arrogance. That is a bunch of baloney. When God wants to take you to another level in God, hallelujah, he takes you, he makes sure you develop, um, you grow downward. Hallelujah. You grow downward. He develops your roots because of the level of exaltation you're about to face. Hallelujah. So everybody has to go through that. When God wants to exalt you, prepare. When the prophecy comes that you're going to be rich, prepare for financial crisis. When God, any time God wants to exalt you, you must take it to the fire. He did that for Joseph. Joseph wasn't arrogant. He brought him down, stripped him down, took him to the grave and brought him up again. So whoever, wherever you are, if you are going through your Gethsemane hour, prepare because the hour has come for you. The hour has come for you to be elevated. The hour has come for you to be exalted in this next season in your life. Hallelujah. The glory of the Lord will arise upon your life in the, like never before. Are you hearing me today? When the fire of God begins to fall, it purifies, it positions you, and it anoints you for divine favor. Many lives have been crumbled. Many lives have come to a place of standstill. Amen? Standstill. Why? Because many lives have come to a standstill. Why? Because uh, um, um, they don't understand the protocol of heaven. Hallelujah. The protocol of heaven. Don't let the voice of condemnation begin to speak against your life and tell you that you're not doing something right with God and whatever. This is why you're going through the crisis. The devil is a liar. Every time a man goes through a wilderness season, he rebukes and he corrects. Amen. He corrects those who he loves. Every man must go through that. Every man must be whipped by God. Every man must be disciplined by God. Hallelujah. So in the life of Job, hallelujah, we begin to see that this man on the other side, he was naked by sickness. His wealth was wiped away. Everything that he offered to God, amen, as a sacrifice, amen, was wiped away. The enemy came after his sacrifice. That was the first thing that the enemy came after. Let's not use the word sacrifice. The enemy came after his abundance, amen, his resources, amen. He had lambs, he had animals, he had so many cattle, amen. The fire of God came and destroyed everything. And then the next thing he what? Destroyed his kids, amen, hallelujah. And then before you know it, even the wife began to complain. So right now, we're going to really pray and take authority over some powers, hallelujah. Somebody say some powers. Hallelujah. So as we begin to pray now, I want to get yourself ready, get yourself empowered up. Because whatsoever that the devil has been hiding against your life, today we suddenly break from you in the name of Jesus Christ. Shout this loud and clear with divine authority. Hallelujah. Let me, let me try if my people have been listening. What is the prayer point? What was the prayer point I said now? What was the last prayer point? Can somebody remind me? What was the last prayer point before we got into... The message. Hallelujah. Somebody cannot remember. Ah, okay, I'll remind you. Shout this prayer loud and clear. Say every teeth of the wicked. Hold every teeth of the wicked, biting my prosperity. Every teeth of the wicked, biting my blessings. Say in the name of Jesus. 
by fire. Open your mouth and fire prayer. Every teeth of the wicked over my prosperity. I say break by fire. Regede rebe beka baradia. Raba baba ka shata. Elabantele bebe apaya. Ragazaba rebe beka baradia. Ilek regede rebe beka berebe bia. Magrada raba ba rebe beka baradia. Lek regada rebe bia. Every teeth of the wicked over my prosperity. I say break by fire. Irregede baya. Ilek regede baya. Raba ba raba baka ba raba ba raba baka ba yada. Ilek regede ria. Irebe beka baradia. Rebe beka berebe beka baradia. I say break by fire. I say break by fire. I say break by fire. Every teeth of the wicked over my prosperity. I smash every satanic teeth. Every teeth of the ungodly. A rebe beke be rebe beka baradia, magra baba baba ka shanta, eleman de leman beka paya, li gro zaba randa ribibia. Sheke jabala baga sadaba, rababa ndo rababa, ilumbre de rebe bia paya, maganta laban de le bia saya. In Jesus' name we pray. Genesis chapter 32. My God, I feel revival taking place. In the name of Jesus. Genesis chapter 32. Genesis chapter 32. And Jacob was left alone and wrestled with a man until the breaking of the day. <laughs> and he said let me go for the day break it and he said I will not let thee go except thou bless me amen I'll be commissioned by God in this month of February onward to the end of this year you are going to see a new level amen in yourself a new level a new identity in God the new you is going to come out it's going to burst forth I just pray you are in the right camp if you miss this prayer line from today let me just say from today because yesterday you missed from today, if you miss onward to the end of this year, you have missed something powerful. Because God is going to use this prayer line to shift every man to another level in God. I was commissioned by God to do something. Lead the people, lead the people to their promise. Something will burst in the realm of the spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ. Look at what he said. And when he saw that he prevailed not, verse 25, in the book of Genesis 32, verse 25, when he saw that he prevailed not against him, he touched the hollow of his thigh. He touched, he touched the, the, the hollow of his thigh, and the hollow of his thigh was out of joint. As he wrestled with him, you must wrestle. This is a season to wrestle. This is a season to battle for your next season in life. For, ever, for you to be crowned, you must fight. And we are getting there, we are getting there, we are getting there. And he said, let me go for the day break it. And he said, I will not let you go for the day break it. Somebody say for the day break it. For you to grab hold of your destiny. For you to alter and change the destiny that was given to you. For, the, for you to change the identity that was given, the stigma that was placed upon you by your enemy. For you to change the art, to alter the character that was placed upon you. Or whatever reputation that you've attained from the wicked that was placed upon you by the enemy. For you to reverse, for you to change, for you to, to abort, for you to destroy, for you to negate, for you to, for to, 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 to resist the workings of the devil, the agenda of the enemy. What do you have to do? You must wake up early hours of the day early hours of the day not when everybody are awake but early hours of the day and position yourself listen to me one thing about jacob the bible says he was left alone he was left alone he was left alone brother father everybody ahead go 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 let me face business let me face let me fight with divinity let me fight with divinity let me change my character let me change my personality something has to die i don't know if you understand what i'm saying hallelujah and this guy suddenly as he began to pray amen he said let me go for the breaking of the day and he said i will not let you go except thou bless me and he said unto him what is thy name and he said jacob and he said thy name shall not no more be called jacob 
but Israel, <laughs> a prince for that, <laughs> a prince. So, so this guy was an entity. This guy was obscure. This guy was undercover, covered by the enemy. But suddenly, as he began to pray, his garment fell off, and the anointing burst forth. Suddenly, you start leaping in your leg. You say, Ah, so, oh my goodness. So now, this prayer now, because of this, I'm getting an attack in my leg. My, look at this guy. He broke my leg. No, 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 no. There was an egoistic nature. There was a strength, a carnal strength inside of him that got broken. And when, when God broke it, when God dislocated it, something emerged in him. He said, now, Jacob, you are not more Jacob. Your name is not Israel. You are also a prince, a prince that is under the rulership with a kingly anointing. Ah, Jacob says, are you sure? He said, yes, your name, you... you and when that name was released on Jacob, Jacob has been carrying this name. You are a cheater. You are a 419. You are a mago mago. You are a man. So everywhere Jacob went to, people looked at him with that negative identity. They, he carried this negative eyes. He cheated his father. I cannot believe this. My mother led me to cheat with my mother. My mother led me to cheat my father. I can't believe I deceived my brother. I can't believe I did this. I can't believe I stole. So all this is was around him. So everywhere he went, there was a guilt. So the condemnation was sitting upon his ministry. Condemnation was sitting upon his destiny. Amen. Even his wife was loving him, but he knew that even though something is not right, something is not right. Why am I going through this thing? Even Jacob, even um, he began to understand himself that even when my wife died, Rachel, oh God, what happened? What happened? So he needed to fight. Something wasn't right with his, with his and then he, he told his family, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Guess what? When his name was not given to him by God, his identity came forth. His agenda plan came forth. Amen. His real identity, his real personality, his real himself. He began to discover who he really was. Why? He prayed. He was left alone. He prayed. Till, 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 till. Something gave up. And when you are called by heaven that you are a prince, of course you will walk like a prince. Of course you will think like a prince. Of course you will reason like a prince. Amen. Because princes are different. Princes talk differently. They smell differently. They dress differently. They talk differently. They laugh differently. Listen to me. You are not a mediocre. You are a prince. You are not a follower. You are a leader. Hallelujah. This anointing, this, uh, this anointing makes you arrogant against the workings of the devil. This anointing makes you radical against the workings of the devil. When the affairs, when the devil begins to back, when the devil back, you say, hey, hey, you back three times. The devil back once, you say, hey, hey. And the devil gets scared. You terrorize the devil everywhere you go. When you are a leader and you are a prince, everywhere you go, when you enter, your presence takes over the whole environment. Hallelujah. You stand out because why? The leadership grace is upon you. You are a prince. You are not a follower. You are not a servant no more. Ah! And Jacob knew who he was after that encounter. Today and this morning, as you begin to pray on the twelfth, something will happen. Your character, that nonsensical spirit that was placed upon you by the powers of your father's house, today will jump out of you. Whatsoever has kept you like a slave, whatsoever has hindered you, today will suddenly break from your life as you begin to pray. Hallelujah. I pray for you today that from today to the end of this year, don't miss, miss any telecast because we're on a journey. God is pouring his fire upon us. God has given us hey, he has given us a blueprint. Hey, Mark Kotabaha. I don't want to go into details. Thank you, Lord Jesus. You are going to shout this prayer loud and clear. Hallelujah. And he said, Thy name shall no more be Jacob. But Israel as a prince. What is the prayer? Libra Kazabaradosh. Ilaban Delebi Abaradias. Say, my father, my father. My father, my maker. By the original name you have given to me. By your original plan for my life. Let them manifest by fire. Opiamat and fire prayer. Reba baba ka shata. Ile bebe bebe ya sanfala mandelia. Rebe bebe ya shakataba. Let me manifest by fire. Irega bara. Rebe bebe ya barandia. Zomblende le bebe ya. Rebe de rebe bebe ka barandia. Manifest by fire. Manifest by fire. Irega de rebe bebe ka barandia. Ila bandalia. My original name. My original identity. Manifest by fire. Manifest by fire. A braga. Ile ke de la bahaya. Baraka Zekebrahandia, let it manifest by the fire of God, by the fire of God, by the fire of God. 
Mashaka bala bazipa. Ile bra baba kasa. Marema mama mama mia. Mere baba boko sa. Balibra bariba barika ta. Malegra gazebra haya. Baraga ya baraka delia. Ile gra gazenge tulia. Ile gra gazabaradia. Era baba baya. 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 Era baba ya. Makatele be handalia. In Jesus name we pray. Somebody shout amen. <laughs> Many times when you are pressured, this attack came upon Jacob from his own household. He came from his own household. Hallelujah. Amen. One of the things that will happen to Jacob is that he's walking around and feeling like my mother cheated me my mother manipulated me to deceive my father and my brother and now my life is in danger but my mother is dead my mother doesn't see what's going on now she's dead already maybe that's the curse that is haunting her life lord what do i do and she he's going around is confused lord who do i speak to who is my mentor now my mother is gone at the early stage oh lord what, what is this what is this why is my life like this so he's calculating. Oh God, talk to me, talk to me. His wife is smiling. Oh, what do you want to eat? Oh, what do this? The two wives are fighting. And then he's like, you know what? You women and the children, just waka, just go forward. I want to spend time with God. Listen to me. Every time you want to really wrestle <laughs> and receive something divine from God, you will always reach a point they call Gethsemane, where you are left alone. It is a time whereby you have been praying with your brother, praying with your husband, praying with your wife, praying with your children. There are other times you enter the room and say, everybody, waka, just go. Just travel. Let me stay alone and pray. Hallelujah. Listen to me. If you must change your destiny by prayer, if you must affect your life and destiny, it is by prayer. It is by prayer. Let me, let me, because many people don't understand this. If you must take advantage, a man can rise out of obscurity by the realms of prayer. A man that is timid, oppressed by demonic witchcraft, if you really means business, turn your face to the world. Acquaint now with God. The Bible says a prophecy was given to Nehemiah. It says, put your house in order, such and such. This day, you are going to die. The Bible says, Nehemiah says, enough from the prophet. It is now for me to engage in God. He began to focus in God in prayer. He wrestled, he wrestled and turned the heart of God. God commanded the prophet, go back. Go back. I will add more 15 years onto your life. That's the power of prayer. That is the power of prayer. No matter when you are wrestled in ground. I love when cats fight. When cats are fighting, they don't let their back touch the ground. They begin to fight. <laughs> I just like it. And I watch how horses they fight. I watch how dogs fight. And I say, my God, if you must triumph and if you must come out to be a prince, you must be a wrestler in the realm of the spirit. You must be able to wrestle the powers of your father's house. I love it. And one of the things is that God will choose every womb and every belly you will be birthed through. He will choose what kind of family you come through. And if you find yourself coming out from a black family, or a white family. It's because there are some battles God wanted to fight. And if you can fight that battle, God will crown you to be a king, a prince, a ruler, an overcomer. Hallelujah. Tangible overcomer. Glory to God. We understand that Jacob, was, this was not his first time he experienced this. By chance, he fell asleep. And when he fell asleep by chance, he saw angels descending and ascending. God was just trying to tell him his location. He said, this area you are, take it serious. You are brought here for a divine encounter. Hallelujah. Some of you, wherever you are right now, you are wondering why it is. Why is that? My dream. What? We don't even worry about whatever dream it is. The more the enemy provoke you. Listen to me. The enemy can plan for the next 10 years for your death. The enemy can put together all kinds of things. The enemy can feed you with poison. Every kind of act. And they'll be doing it, maybe they'll be doing it for five years just to get you down. 
one day of serious, serious focus and prayer and diligence with God, you will cancel every plan that the devil has put together for three years. That's how powerful we Christians are. Just, just one, one, one day, five solid hours of prayer at night from 12 a.m. to 6 a.m. You will dismantle. Some of you love to sleep around 12 a.m. Because you've not, you've not been Africanized. There's, when you go to Africa, there's a level of witchcraft going on. Serious witchcraft. You shoot them and they will give you the bullet in your hands. There's a level of witchcraft that you can do. There are some arm robbers. You shoot them, they disappear. Hallelujah. Notorious arm robber called Anini. This guy, no matter what you do, you shoot him. He does not. So the voodoo priest, they, 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 they said to him, the voodoo priest, what happened is that they made a charm that his back must not, every time he wants to disappear, he, he, he lays his back on the wall and he disappears. When you shoot this man, bullets does not enter his body. So they had to use a police girl and disguise, a very beautiful police girl and disguise to entice him. And there was a particular shirt he wears to disappear. And when they took that shirt, he was not able to disappear. That's how they caught him. Now, for such people to tackle them, you don't tackle them in daytime. You go at night and pray. You pray your, your hours of prayer. All this one that people are sleeping, sleeping, sleeping. You are easily manipulated. Let me tell you something. Let me help you. If you are a witch and you're listening to me now and you are tired of seeing yourself in wrong places and you know that it's in during the night they take you to wrong places, what do you do? You still going to sleep from 12 a.m. to 3 a.m.? No. You wake up and you start prayer. Wake up and start prayer. Wake up and start prayer. Hallelujah. Do night vigil. Mess up the devil. Speak to your body. You cannot be manipulated. You cannot be influenced. Because once you sleep, your spirit is carried or your soul is carried to a demonic place. So what do you do? Do a night vigil. Storm the camp of the devil. Stop his activities. Wreck him. Wreck him. Wreck him. Break his power. Are you hearing me? To rule as a prince. To rule as a leader. What do you do by prayer? Amen. We see one principle here. How? What happened with Jacob? The Bible says Jacob was left alone and he fought to the breaking of the day. Someone say breaking of the day. Breaking of the day seems like six o'clock. Breaking of the day seems seven o'clock. And you see that scripture that we, we just read now. Hallelujah. The scripture we read earlier. Amen. Job 38. He said, I was that commanded. We didn't even read that scripture. Let's go there quickly. Job, Job, the book of Job. I'm going to express, explain something to you. The book of Job. Job 38. Job 38. Zombre de. Job 38 verse 12. Okay, we read that scripture, but we read it briefly. Hallelujah. Praise God. Amen. It says, Has thou commanded the morning since thy days, and has caused the day spring to know his place? Hallelujah. So you mean that Job has an authority? Have you commanded the morning since thy days, and has caused the day spring to know his place? So the day spring sometimes might not know its place because of satanic manipulation. You can give instruction to the elements of the earth. You can speak to it by prayer. Hallelujah. And, the, and things will begin to bow. Look at what it says. Because the fire that fell upon Job's properties, the fire that fell upon his wealth, the fire and the sicknesses that came upon him was, was has no respect to, 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 to medications, has no respect. Amen. Hallelujah. These things that came upon him was natural attack. These things that came from him was fire from heaven. It didn't come from anybody. Nobody was to blame. Look at what it says. It says verse 13. It said that they, that it might take hold of the ends of the earth. Has that commanded the money since that day is that caused the discipline to know his place? That it might take hold of the hands of the earth. That the wicked might be shaken out of it. That the wicked might be shaken out of it. God was not trying to tell Job, listen to me. Me and Lucifer had a plan. Me and Lucifer, we had a meeting. And I told Lucifer that you are my favorite. Don't worry, Job. It's for a reason. God didn't do that. All this time, Job did not even have one dream from God. Hallelujah. Praise God. Who is this one calling me now? Are you calling me? I'm on the prayer line. Hallelujah. Glory to God. That it might take hold of the ends of the earth that the wicked might be shaken. If you must understand, Job left his house. It, it was, his body began to ooze out sicknesses. He was now naked. People began to sympathize with him. Hallelujah. And guess what? This guy did not have one dream. His friends did not have one revelation from heaven. 
Nobody had an insight that, except that young boy, young guy who came. No, but nobody had a prophetic revelation from heaven and said, Job, be encouraged. Nobody encouraged Job. Job did not have a cassette or a CD or YouTube to go and worship God. He didn't have no church to go to, to go and meet a pastor. Let me lay hands on you. So this is why he was serious. He was alone. And people have been criticizing, been criticizing Job so much, tearing him down. No, 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 no. He was left alone. There was no priest in his time to say, Job, let me pray for you. Let me make atonement. He was a priest himself. Hallelujah. And so, after all this, God is not coming now. He's not saying, has thou, has thou commanded that it might take out of the ends of the earth, that the wicked might be shaken out of it. He was actually speaking of Lucifer. He said, Lucifer has invaded your earth. Lucifer has entered your heavens. Lucifer has come to my throne to arouse, to speak against you. But if you must shake the wicked out of it, say what? Take authority. Pray in the money. Command the money to know its place. That the wicked might be shaken out of it. When the wicked is dislodged, then you begin to have rest. And this guy, after this scripture, he began to understand. This guy went into a place of prayer. He began to, to deal and begin to fight and pray. And the Bible says, God, for the first time, commanded his friends. He said, take an offering. Take an animal. Go to Job. He said, because I'm angry towards you. Go and meet Job. Let Job pray for you. Hallelujah. And this guy came before Job. He said, Job, God asked me to bring this offering. Why? Because Job had no animal sacrifice. He was praying, but there was no animal sacrifice. All the 2,000 sheep and heads and what was wiped out by the devil. The devil made sure he wiped Job out so that Job can be a beggar. I pray for you today. Any power that wants you to be a beggar, any power that is relegating your finances to make you to be a beggar today, I wipe it up by the power in the blood. I destroy the powers of your father's house sitting on your finances that says, ah, your resources will not get to the hand of another. Now that your resources will speak for you. I decree by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ. Every devil, every devil sitting on your finances. Today, I overthrow them by the blood. I overthrow them by the blood. I overthrow them by the blood of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Amen. Kati brahas. Lemendele baby abaradosh. Mongodobodobali baby abaradia. You are going to pray this prayer loud and clear. <laughs> Say this not and clear. Say the light of God that hides in my life. How I many of you know that there's the light of God? The light carries your talent. The light that shines. Hey, you know, let me explain this. Let me explain so you understand. When men begin to see you and they don't see the light of God in you, if they begin to treat you negatively, it's because they are seeing the other side of darkness emanating from you. Jealousy has a, 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 a lower light, an angry light, a negative light. Hallelujah. Anger has a negative light. Hallelujah. Whatsoever personality you begin to emanate that is not of God has its own light. Amen. But the light of God is very attractive. You see, if I send a light and I put a light outside, very now and then you begin to see insects will be attracted to that light. Hallelujah. Amen. Light of God is very attractive. It's very, I won't call it seducing, but it's very enticing. Amen. You will love it. It's divine. You are drawn to the light. Now, God said, you shall be the light. Let your light to shine before men that they may see your good works who is in heaven. Hallelujah. Let your light to shine before men. Today we are going to pray. Amen. Let your light, your divine light that is inside of me, let it burst forth. Oh God, let your light in my life let it manifest. In the light is your talent. In your light is your skill. In your light is your glory. In your light is your blessing. In your light is the wisdom of God. In the light is, is who you are. Let my original light begin to shine. Are you ready to pray? Say, my father, my father, every light you have deposited in my life, Manifest by fire. Let it manifest by fire. Rabaka satabaha. Ile gregebaria. Rebababaka shitabaha. Let your light, oh God, manifest by the blood. Manifest by fire. Manifest in my children. Light of God. Elege balabaya. Manifest in that of my husband. Manifest in that of my wife. Manifest in my career. Manifest in my destiny. Oh light of God. Break out in my being. Break out in my spirit. Break out in my ministry. Break out in my 
prayer. Ela balia balia kato. Open your mouth and fire prayer. Thou light of the Lord. Thou light of God. Thou light of salvation. Thou light of glory. Thou light of blessing. Hey, burst forth like never before. Ragazaba ile bandelia ile be 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 kapa. Libranda re be be apaya. Mage kapele be be apa. Let your light burst forth. Let your light burst forth. Shanda baraka zebra ile bekelia kalekratuya. Lord, let your light elege baraka zaya. Lord, let your light elege delia, 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 elege delia. Rababaya baradish, mazala badalia. Let your light, let your light, let your light. Ega dabaha ligra gazash. The light of God began to shine. The light of God began to shine. The light of God began to shine. In Jesus' name we pray. The Bible says, the Bible says, Hallelujah. The Bible says, Glory to God. The Bible says that Jesus, when he was born, Wise men found a star, they, began, they wanted to pay tribute. They wanted to pay their respect. And suddenly, they went to the house of, they went to Jerusalem and found the priest. O king, we found a king that was born here. And they set this young boy, and they set him, they set trouble on him. And the angel quickly ran and said, oh, 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 there is trouble, there is trouble, there is trouble. And God said, what, what are you talking about? There is trouble, there is trouble, there is trouble. They said there is trouble. What do you mean there is trouble? Help us. We're, 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 we're interested in blessing you, Jesus. They have been sent to bring blessings from afar. But they went to your uncle. They went to your family and they inquired of you. They went, they went to your enemies. And they began to inquire about you. What? You mean Bill Gates came to see your uncle? And said, ah, where is sister? Where is my brother? I want to bless him. And they said, ah, we are here. You're not trying to bless us. You want to go and bless that young boy. Who is he? Who did he come from? Which family did he come from? I'm the king here. Yeah, and you are trying to pay homage to somebody else. And they, and they left. They left the king. And from that day, something happened. The Bible said the king was furious. He said, what audacity. You mean these guys came to search for another king. And I'm the king in place. No, 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 no. This nonsense must stop. And from that day, there was something that happened. Some of you, by chance, people come and inquire about you. People love what you are doing at your place of work. But they love you. It's your name, your name, your name. And because of that, it has made some people furious and jealous. And now, all hell break loose now. They want to kill anybody that be like you. They want to kill anybody that is close to you. They want to terminate them. They want to fire them. Anybody that is close to you or associated with you, they want to terminate. Because why? You are taking the whole glory in your job. You are taking the whole glory. Your boss, everybody is celebrating, about, celebrating you. It's all about you. Your name is being called. So everybody that is doing something now, they don't care. You are the only one that is being seen. You are the star in your family. What is this? A voodoo priest goes. Your, your sister sends, contacts a voodoo priest. Hallelujah. And your, the, the, the voodoo priest begins to look at everybody. And they pick out your picture. You say you are the star in the family. You are the star in the family. Ah, uh ah. -uh. No, I should be the star. Say, no, 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 no. This is the star that will feed the whole family. Uh -uh. And your sister is like, no, 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 no. Baba, what can we do to silence this? I should be the star in the family, not this one. And they began to look. Sometimes also, too. They look at, sometimes they also say, even this family, everybody is barren. And in the voodoo priest is looking at all the pictures. He now tells your uncle, that's your brother's daughter. That's your brother's daughter. She will be very great. He said, which one? He said, the daughter that's in Germany. That one. That one. Money will respect her. Hey, hey. What do we do to stop that? And the voodoo priest is inquiring, how can we stop this thing? How can we stop this wickedness? How can we stop her from progressing? He said, the priest says, this girl will still help. It will help the father. It will also help you. He said, no, 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 no. He said, listen, that girl you are saying, she will build houses in, in Africa. 
she will be a few blessing to the family. He said, no, I don't want. Close our destiny. I don't want. This is how enemies begin to plan. And they begin to plan. And you are here in America. You don't even know what's going on. Sometimes they say, even give. You are having trouble with it. Because you don't even know that an uncle has seen your star. Somebody has consulted the evil priest. And they see the rising of your star. They see the shining of your star. They see where you are headed to. They see that, hey, this man carry gold glory. But they don't even know that somebody has paid a, a bailam. Somebody has paid a priest and hired a priest to sit on your star. You are going to pray. And very soon you began to lose things. Very soon you are being fired. Very soon all kinds of doors closing against you. Because you don't know that somebody has looked into the future. Look into your future. Look into your future. When you have an uncle, eh? you, you come from a father or a mother that all the all her kids are in overseas. Then they are then her brothers in the family, their children, they have not traveled out of Africa. Their children don't even have a job. Some of them have a job and they are living in Africa. They have not even traveled out. Don't you think there will be jealousy? Don't you think there will be competition? <laughs> don't you think they will go and inquire about you? You are joking. If you just think that, hey, my dad's, uh, as long as it's my dad love me, finish, it's fine. No, your dad's brother, if their children is not doing fine, your dad's brother will be competing against you. And will be spread. The attacks that you're even going through right now is because of the hatred from your dad's brother of your, or from your, your mother's sister who doesn't want the daughters to succeed. And you are the only one there. And your, your mother's daughters are doing well. But their daughters are not doing well. So they go and consult a priest to look at the stars in that family. And if you are the one that is shining bright, they will target you. They will target you. They will target you. They will target you. So here was Jesus. They began to target him. They began to... In angel says, hey Jesus, it's, ta it's time to leave. But before that time, the Bible says that... They saw this... When they came out from, 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 from the king's house... And the king didn't give them an address. As they came out, the star was shining. Eh? It was shining. For real? Is that on the star? Let's follow the star. I could not understand because when you see a star outside, above, in the sky, you cannot know the direction. So it means that the star was hovering, was close to them. It was leading them. It means that there was a light that was following them. You are going to pray. You are going to pray. I don't know what kind of technology they followed to understand where the star was located. But I believe an angel gave them an insight. He gave them direction. You are going to pray today. Hallelujah. You are going to open your mouth and you are going to turn that fire today. It is, the star did not lead the enemies to Jesus. The star led wise men that brought blessings to Jesus. Do you understand that prayer? Many times when you are a star, your enemy will find you first. They want to shake you. They want to give you a handshake. They want to bring clothes from Africa and put upon you. They want to give you a hug. All this nonsense. That is not what we are talking about. When your star begins to shine, it draws the right people first. You are going to pray. <laughs> whether you are at your job place, whether you are in one country, whether you are working in a different place, your star must begin to shine in your own field. It must begin to shine and speak louder like never before. Are you hearing me today? <laughs> a brother prayed this kind of prayer heavy. He never wins anything, never wins anything. But in the company in that day, he would just focus on my star will shine. And they were doing a, a, a kind of like a Christmas raffle draw. I remember, hallelujah, this brother, hallelujah. He, be, he prayed and prayed and prayed. And so when they called him, he said, Oh, do raffle draws, really? He didn't know. So during the lunch hour, everybody began to pick. He, so he, he too picked a raffle draw in the Christmas time. And he picked his raffle draw. And suddenly, his name was come out. His name came out for uh, for the top prize, and he won the top prize. And everybody were looking at him like, "Oh, this guy was even a temp. He wasn't even a full time. He was under a contract." So everybody was looking at him like, "Oh, he himself was shocked." But then he remembered the prayer he was praying. His star shined. You're going to pray. Libala <laughs> Badolios. Say, are you ready for prayer? Say, my father, my father. Beginning from today. In my city. In my state. Within my family. Wherever I am. My star must shine. And draw my helpers to me. My star shine. 
mine and my helpers be brought to me. Are you ready for prayer? Le bala bandoli akabaya. Meli brando rebebia paradis. My star, arise, shine, and bring that, bring me to my helpers. Open your mouth and fire prayer. Ragaza baradia, ilegre geberia, barada rebebia baradi, shadala baka balabaya. Open your mouth and fire prayer. Regade rebebega baragadia, and wherever my helpers are, Lord, by the reason of my star, let it arise, let it arise. I program my star in the heavenlies. I program my star in the north, in the west, and in the east. In the south, let it begin to shine. Let it begin to shine. Let my star begin to break out, break out from the powers of my father's house. I command my star to begin to shine. I say, My star, I speak it to you. Arise and shine by the blood, arise and shine by fire, by the illumination of the light of God. I command my star to shine. Let it shine. I say, Let the light of God within my star erupt by the blood, erupt by the blood, erupt by the blood. My star, arise, arise by the blood. Arise, O Jehovah. Magala Badilia, Rebebeka Baradish. My star must arise. My star must arise. My star must arise. In the name of Jesus, come and program yourself. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Are you ready for this prayer? You are the ambassador. Somebody say ambassador. Somebody say ambassador. You the ambassador of yourself. As that commanded the morning since the days. <laughs> that the wicked might be shaken out of it. Not going to pray. <laughs> Every wickedness. Over my star. Wickedness over my star. I shake you off by fire. Baraka se prata ya. Open your mouth and turn the fire. Elegre ze braka talia. I say in the name of Jesus. Every wickedness over my star. I shake you off by the blood. I shake you off by fire. I say my star. Elegre ge ba. Be hidden from my enemies. Be hidden from my enemies. Arise by the blood. Arise by fire. Arise by the blood. Arise by fire. My star. Leke palia. Elebe be bia. De la mantelia. I say shine by fire. I say shine by Fire. Magatala Bantelis. Rebebebebia Shakata Bahayas. Ilegre Baba Rababayas. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. <laughs> Every battle targeted against me. Because of the conflict of my parents. Now, do you understand that prayer? The battle that you are facing because of the brother or the sister of your mother, your father. And they said, you will not enjoy the male seed in your children. You will not enjoy the girls in your family. You will not enjoy your daughters. Your daughters will not bring you joy. Neither will the men in your family bring you joy. Sometimes somebody can place a curse and say, every man in this family will not be the breadwinner in the family. Are you hearing me? They can say to your father and say, hey, because you have done this, I swear. Because you have done this, I swear. Your son will not bring glory to you. Your son will not stand anywhere. He will walk in shame. People can place a curse like that. I said, because of you, because of what you have done today, this your daughter will not carry baby. You are going to pray. Makala <laughs> Badolia. It's a serious matter today. It's a serious matter today. It's a serious matter today. What is the prayer point? Everyone, what is the prayer point? Can you remember? Tell me, what is the prayer point? Say with boldness. Uh-huh. 
Everybody forgot again? <laughs> Hallelujah. Can you remember? Tell me, everyone. Is there anybody? Quickly, quickly, quickly. Okay, all right. Praise God. Go ahead. Brother, go ahead. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Say this loud and clear. Say every inherited battles from my mother and my father that is affecting my destiny. Scatter by fire. Every battle inherited from my mother, inherited from my father, every battle, upon my life, upon my finances, upon my ministry, every inherited battle that says I will not excel, I scatter the battle, I scatter the battle, I scatter the battle, I scatter the battle, I destroy the battle by the fire of the Holy Ghost. Le graba, mazele meke bilea, ille gregezeria, ragazem randaria. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. This thing they call, this thing they call racism. This thing they call racism. Are you hearing me? Hear me very well. This thing they call racism. Huh? Is a spirit that comes within the family. A spirit that comes within the family. When a man has a high level of a star and begins to shine, there's nothing called racism. Everybody will celebrate you. Everybody. Okay? But, when people in Africa want to attack you, they can even say, Asian so, white people will not respect you. If such proclamation is spoken over your life, when they see you, they want to treat you with hardship, with hard hand. But when you begin to pray, I am not a slave. I am a leader. You know, with, what, with whatever culture, I obtain unusual favor. Whichever culture, with a black, Hispanic, white, Asian, whatever, you're able to cross over and obtain and walk in favor like never before. They're going to pray. Every cultural barrier, every cultural limitation, every cultural resistance, every cultural resistance posed against my life, against my progress, what are you at your work? Every cultural resistance, every cultural hatred, every cultural racism targeted against me today, as I begin to pray, they scatter by fire. Obi amat and fire prayer. Rebaba ka shata baha. Libranda rebebeke biya baradish. Zambranda rebaba ka baradia. Every racial opposition, every cultural opposition, in the name of Jehovah, I say scatter by fire. I say scatter by fire. Magrada rebaba ka zabaha. Ilebranda rebebeke baradish. Jelebanda labraha. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Don't pray like you are afraid to pray. Okay? Say this loud and clear. Powers of my father's house. Using racism to fight me. Using cultural indifference to resist me or to reject me. Powers of my father's house. Listen to me. When the enemy wants to do anything, just because you are black, a police can give you a ticket. But you know, it comes as a result of the powers of the Father's house. It's a spirit that projects this hatred and rejection. But it's a prayer you can pray. It does not matter what color. God will begin to shine with his lightness. And cause any man to do you good. Any man. Black, white, Hispanic, whichever. Are you hearing me today? Please pray these prayers. Pray these prayers with seriousness. 
father's house. Commanding me to work as a slave. Commanding me to work as a slave and not a leader. Break by fire. Open your mouth and fire prayer. Ragazabaradia, Elegregebaradia, every power, every power, every power that says I shall be a slave. I break it by fire. 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 I am a leader. Barakaze, Elegregeteria, everything that says I'm the tail, I am not the head. Dismantle by fire. Be destroyed by fire. Be destroyed by fire. Be destroyed by fire. Be destroyed by fire. In Jesus' name we pray. <laughs> Every evil conspiracy at my place of work against my rising, against my promotion. You are going to roar like a lion and you will say, Scatter! Are you ready? Every satanic opposition, every satanic conspiracy against my name at my place of work, Scatter! Legre baraga zabra diria, irregadere irregadere opposition, let the conspiracy in Lebra at my place of worker, at my place of worker, in my wife's place of worker, in my husband's place. Of work in my children's place of work, let the evil conspiracy let it scatter, 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 let it scatter by the blood of Jesus, let it scatter, let it scatter. Say this loud and clear, say negative identity. Speaking against my life. Be destroyed by fire. Every negative reputation, every negative stigma, Elera speaking against my identity, to be destroyed by fire. Be destroyed, be destroyed, be destroyed. Every gada, rada, raba, every negative identity, be destroyed by fire, be destroyed by fire. Rababaya. Lebranda Rabaka Sada Bahaya. Be destroyed by fire. Be destroyed by fire. Be destroyed by fire. Be destroyed by fire. By the power in the Holy Ghost. Let it be destroyed. 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 Ligrababa Rebebegebia. Every negative every negative negative stigma. Every negative negativity. Hey, la ba la ba ya. Whatever be stigmatized by the blood of Jesus, let it be destroyed. Let it be destroyed. Let it be destroyed by the power in the Holy Ghost. Make this statement loud and clear. Let the curse spoken by my parents. That is affecting my destiny. Be thanked to blessings. Opium, listen to me. You know, some of you don't have faith. The Bible says that Balaam, he opened his mouth, to, wanted to curse them, and God turned it to blessing. God turned the curse to a blessing. And he said, Balaam, I can't do anything, because every time, make me seven, seven altars. But every time I try to bless them, curse them, a blessing came forth. 
every curse spoken by my parents that is affecting my destiny be turned to a blessing be time to a blessing be time to a blessing in anakatelia every curse in my life uh, I turn you to a blessing 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 a garatea let the curse be turned to a blessing by the power in the Holy Ghost I command the, the words uh, to be converted to a blessing by the power in the Holy Ghost. Lebranda high. Maneni make it clear. Baraka zekratias. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, my Father. We give you the praise. Wonderful Jesus. Wonderful Jesus. Wonderful Jesus. Wonderful Jesus. Wonderful Jesus. Makala pa shele mahabros. Ilibra kabo shanta bahayas. Mangela bantele bebe ya paradosh. Bimbrende rebebe ya paradish. Hallelujah. Somebody anoint your hands very quickly and say, My hands are blessed. I want you to decrease some blessings upon your hands. Anoint your hands, your two hands. And decree in the name of Jesus. As I anoint my hands, say I am blessed. What was stolen from my hands, I take it back now. What was captured from my hands, I recover now by the blood of Jesus. Every opportunity that was stolen from me, I take it back now. All my money that was smashed in my dream. Say this loud and clear. It's all my money that was smashed in my dream. All my money that was smashed in the physical. All my prosperity that was smashed away from me in my time of ignorance. By the anointing of my hands, I take them back now. I recover my key for success. I recover my key for elevation. Say by the power in the Holy Ghost. Every spell over my life is broken. Through the anointing of my hands. Through the anointing of my hands. I will slay the head of the wicked. Through the anointing of my hands. I will slay the head of the wicked. By these hands, I will build houses and I shall live in them. By these hands, I will gather wealth like never before. By these hands, I will destroy the workings of the devil. As Samson took the gates of the city at night, by these hands, I shall be a conqueror. By these hands, I will snatch the gates of the wicked. By these hands, every wealth of the wicked, I take them by the blood of Jesus. By these hands, I will walk and I will move in an uncommon speed. By the anointing of my hands, I will accomplish unusual tasks. By the anointing of my hands, every form of barrenness, every form of stagnation, is hereby destroyed. Every chain that was formed against my hands, every deformity programmed against my hands, is broken by the blood of Jesus. Every spiritual leprosy projected against my hands catches fire. Say, by the anointing of my hands, I receive my keys of dominion. I receive my keys to triumph. I receive my double favor. I receive my double elevation. By the power in the blood of Jesus. Say, I am a conqueror. I am the head and not the tail. Everywhere I go, I shall stand.
stand out. My name shall be a symbol of loyalty. My name shall be a prince. My name shall be a leader. I will not dwell among men, but everywhere I go, everywhere I go, everywhere I go, everywhere I go, be it in the north, in the west, in the east, and the south, my light shall speak for me. The light of God shall speak for me in the name of Jesus Christ. Somebody shout glory. Somebody shout glory. glory. Hallelujah. The Lord is on high. Amen. I want I want I want everyone, amen. God bless every God bless everyone today that participated. Hallelujah. If you want to be a blessing, amen. Join us on WhatsApp, hallelujah. And be a giver. If you want to be a generous giver, go ahead. If you want to be a giver for ten dollars, go give. Amen. But I want to encourage some of you to just give as the Lord leads you. Hallelujah. Just give as the Lord is you. Give to the kingdom. God bless everyone for dialing in. Is there any quick question before we go? Amen. Now with your right hand, with your right hand, imagine you're opening a door with your right hand. Put your hand almost like in a door or if you have a door in your house, go there and hold the handle of the door and say in the name of Jesus, Say in the name of Jesus, in this month of February, every good door that was closed against me in 2017. Open. You are saying it with this. We are saying it with this. I see so much love in your voice. Open. Even a dog will not respect it. Shout it. Open. <laughs> some of you some of you need to be enrolled in the US Army shout it what pain <laughs> are you laughing hey all the door of the handle of your door I said every closed door against me every divine opportunity in my life every door of prosperity in my life as I hold the door what pain Open, 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 open in the name of Jesus. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. Say, I am more than a conqueror. Say, I am blessed. Say, I am the head and not the tail. In the name of Jesus Christ. Say men will compete to favor me. Use that word. Men will compete to favor me. In Jesus name we pray. Lay your right hand on your belly button and say. Every evil food I swallowed in my dream. Every poison that entered my body. I purge you out by the blood of Jesus. I purge you out by the blood of Jesus. Amen. You know, every mouth has a sword of God in the mouth. Every mouth has a sword of God. So when you say, say with authority, I purge you out from my body. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. You are blessed. Amen. You are blessed and your life will never be the same. Say this loud and clear. Say henceforth. Say henceforth. Let no man trouble me. For I bear in my body. The marks of the Lord Jesus Christ. From today. I will enjoy sweet fellowship with the Lord Jesus Christ. I will enjoy the love of Jesus today. I will enjoy sweet fellowship and sweet communion with the Holy Spirit.
In Jesus' name we pray. I will, I will not operate in sorrow. I will not be depressed. I will walk, I will walk in joy. I will be full of the joy of the Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Are you blessed? Hallelujah. Your life will never be the same again. Your, you will be a testimony around the world. I beg of you, from today, hallelujah, from today to the end of this year, do not miss, miss any telecast. Do not miss any any prayer line hallelujah because something has happened in your life god has deposited something in you the lord bless you Moi, the lord bless you i love you hallelujah keep us in your prayers and i'm praying for you hallelujah if you don't have the number for the uh you want to join on whatsapp you want to call me also too so i could pray with you speak with you my number is 612 701 5983 612 701 Five nine eight three. Hallelujah. As you go to work, I commend you unto grace. May you be a light to your work. May you shine like never before. Those who are therapists, those who are doctors, I prophesy upon you. May you walk in an uncommon wisdom. May you function with an uncommon wisdom. May your wisdom be as bright, as bright, as bright like never before. In the name of Jesus, may you be covered in the glory of God. I prophesy upon you. May you stand out wherever you are. In the name of Jesus, may your light be seen by men. May your mind, your, may your light be admired by men. May your light be treasured by men. May your light be loved by men. In the name of Jesus, may you display the wonders of God. Wherever you go, may you display the wonders of God. In the name of Jesus Christ, I decree, for your light, may you obtain testimonies. For your light, may you obtain favor by the power in the Holy Ghost. Thank you, Lord Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Hallelujah. Who I don't know who you are. Send me a text. My number is 612-701-5983. I don't know who you are. <laughs> you want me to send you a prayer point, but send me a text. 612-701-5983. Hallelujah. The Lord bless you. The Lord keep you. The Lord cause his face to shine upon you and be upon you. May his hand be upon you. God bless you. Love you. Hallelujah. Send me a text. My number is 612 701 Five nine eight three. Hallelujah. American code is plus one. God bless you. God bless you. Hallelujah. Love you. Bye bye now. God bless you. Bye bye. Au, au revoir.